Why have I started a YouTube channel based around photography in 2024? I'll start by telling you that my motivation for shooting personal projects over the last few years has been non-existent. I've been working as a content creator, although I hate that term, for the last eight years. With that, the idea of picking up my camera for myself just hasn't been something I've wanted to do. Creating for others as a nine to five job for some reason had just dissolved my desire to be a creative out of work hours. Until I started this channel. Starting this journey has given me a new reason to get back to it, reigniting a spark I had lost and I'm now really enjoying being back in the city shooting for myself. A refreshing different way of being creative. Long form content. I feel like I have been trapped in the short form vertical content world for so long. I can't even explain to you how good this feels. It's exactly what I've been needing. With this new attitude to photography, I have already had a different outlook to the city I've been shooting in for years. Managing to find some new competitions like this one. A mixture of waiting for the sun to come back out for good lighting and also catching the London buses at the right time. This has made this shot very challenging, but I'm very happy with these four photographs, especially this last one. I love how the busy crossing on the left hand side gives the photo more drama, while the two buses captured have nice trails without being too dominant over the Parliament building and Big Ben. This is a shot I have never captured before. I had very little planning for what I wanted to get out of this quick afternoon visit to London. I just knew with the weather looking as good as it did, I wanted to get out and see what I could capture on a walk around the city. And it seemed everybody else had a very similar idea. This place was ridiculously busy. Which does make for an interesting composition like this one. However, as a photographer trying to capture landmarks, it brings a new set of challenges. As you can see here, busy places and tripods really don't mix together well and I actually felt like I was a massive annoyance to everybody walking past. That with the possibility of anybody accidentally kicking my tripod and we have a long exposure challenge like no other. In the end, people started walking around me in front of camera and as much as this frustrated me, it's something I can't blame them for doing. Eventually though, after several shots ruined by passers-by, we managed to capture a few empty long exposure shots. I'm pretty happy with these, but they could be done better at a quieter time of day. After that busy shot, I tried to tuck myself against the edge of the bridge and work on a London Eye composition, where, during this time of year, we have another issue to deal with. Lots of boats on the river. If you haven't noticed by now, long exposure photography is my favourite style of photography. So movement on the river usually causes distracting trails like this one, which I feel makes for a really messy shot. On top of boat movement, we have the same people issue with everybody looking to get that shot from their trip, which means ghosting of those eager to get their photo appear in mine when trying a wider composition. Taking all this into account, I settle for two shots. Firstly, a more zoomed in landscape to avoid people and boats, followed by a rotation of the camera for a portrait shot. Again, happy but not exactly blown away by these images and these will also join the reshoot list. I move away from this very busy location and walk down the River Thames to Blackfriars to shoot an old favourite of mine. St Paul's and this beautiful curved bridge framing the shot perfectly, although we may still have the odd boat to deal with. Working on long exposure images again means the tripod and ND filter get set back up. Two absolutely essential bits of kit for this type of photography. As a photographer, I love how many people will come and stand right next to you to get the same shot. This happens all the time. Looking back now, I wish I had also tried this composition of the city, but was so fixated on getting the shot of the bridge in St Paul's, it was completely overlooked. I do have to say it was worth it though, as the two shots I focused on have come out perfectly. I'm so happy with these. The contrast in the bridge detail, the movement in the clouds and the smoothness of the Thames my favourite shots of the day so far. There is one more shot on my list though, and that's slightly further down by Millennium Bridge, directly opposite St Paul's. 
the sun is starting to go down and the light is looking great. Starting to work on the composition on a warm evening surrounded by the buzz of the people in the city. This is a feeling I've really missed. I ended up having to move ever so slightly closer to the bridge for that leading line composition. I get the shot all set and of course, police speedboats go down the river, you really can't make this up. Having to wait a little for the River Thames to settle down before capturing the shot, but the wait was worth it. I'm really happy with these three, although I'm going to be completely honest and say I think I prefer the composition at night time, which I haven't done for a while, so maybe that's something I need to do very soon. Packing up for the day and heading home during sunset felt so wrong, but at this point I felt happy and don't want to overshoot for the sake of it. I'm so cautious of overshooting right now and burning out that newfound spark. It's so important for me to walk away when I feel it's right to do so because we are only just getting started again.